Last year, it was his first media day. This year, he's a veteran of media day. AJ Pateras coming back to Cabrillo High. Hey, how's the offseason going for, for you guys so far? It's been great. We've uh, we've been working. We've been going since uh, as soon as the season ended. We were in the weight room um, and kind of tiered that over about five, six months mm -hmm. and uh, then started installing some past stuff early in the mornings at 6 a.m. and uh, go in the gym four times, uh, well, two, two days a week and in the weight room two days a week. And uh, so we've been in a lot of work. It's it's kind of just getting ready for that season now. We're kind of chopping at the bit. Because it's your second year, do you kind of get a sense that this year you and your staff, you guys aren't doing as much teaching as you did last year, or is it still the same? I think when we're talking terminology and football stuff, it's less teaching, but mm -hmm. there's always something that we're teaching or installing that the kids need to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, being high school kids, there's always something that's distracting them. Mm -hmm. And so we find that, you know, every day is kind of refocusing them and getting them on task. But football wise, if stuff we were doing last year versus this year, uh, the guys kind of know what to expect now. Mm -hmm. So we're doing less of that, hey, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. And now more of critiquing and, and, and adjusting mm -hmm. uh, versus teaching brand new stuff. And on your end, how good does it feel to have not one but 25 seniors coming back? Well, it helps. They they set the standard in the weight room. When we had our young kids come in there with them, uh, we got a good vibe of how to do things. Mm -hmm. And so our young guys, we'll have about five sophomores up this year, and those five guys, you know, fit right in. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't notice them any different than a senior. So uh, these guys provide a lot of leadership, a lot of mentoring. Um, and then they, you know, they got a lot of game experience last year as young guys. Mm -hmm. And whether it was success or not, they learned. They got to learn from you know, their experience. So having that leadership, that experience coming back is huge for our coaching staff and for our team. So Ben Dixon's gone, but you guys, you guys got Jordan Green back. You got Mason Towns. Um, I mean, do you feel like that this receiving core is a lot more deeper, a lot more talented this time around? We're we're more dynamic, I think, in our skill mm -hmm. positions this year. Last year we had Ben, and we had some other guys fill in uh, that were just a little too young mm -hmm. and or just you know couldn't make it through a season were banged up and so now having some more options to throw to uh, more key guys guys that have done it already mm -hmm. and they're coming back and they've already had some success um, we're, we feel we've got guys that can spread the field mm -hmm. you know I think we're gonna be a, a much difficult uh, offense in terms of how to defend us because uh, you know, it's not just Jackson this year. It's not just Ben. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to have other pieces that you're going to have to honor, and and so we're going to make guys work a little bit. So that's going to be nice. And defensively, I mean, Patrick comes back not only yeah. this year but the next year, and then you got Dan and also back. Yeah. So pretty experienced group, you would say as well. Yeah, our linebacker Spencer. Uh, Spencer got hurt last year, middle mm -hmm. of the year, um, right. and then came back towards the end of the league. Uh, him and Patrick, they're just so physical, mm -hmm. you know. And and so when you have those two guys go out and you're playing some younger guys in there, you know, you're not as physical, you're a little bit inexperienced. So uh, Patrick with wrestling and football, he, he just likes the contact. Mm -hmm. he, he's just, a, he's a very smart young man who works his butt off. And so, and then you put him with Spencer and you've got two guys that will just plug the hole. Mm -hmm. And um, and so that's very, very nice. And then we've got experience on the back end. We've got, our youth is gonna be up front on the D line, uh, but we like those kids. We like what they can bring and what mm -hmm. they offer. And, you know, we'll see how they how they do with the season. So Cabrillo's not familiar with the Channel League, but you happen to yeah. be familiar with the Channel League. So what have you kind of told the guys uh, what to expect? Uh, well, we set our schedule up, I think, to prepare us for it. Mm -hmm. um, we like to look at our non-league as a preparation for our league schedule. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the teams that we scheduled really fit the bill of what the old Channel League was. Um, you know, Boina, very right. similar to DP. Uh, you know, my rival when I played high school, so for these guys, uh, they're going to get a good test there. Uh, Bishop Diego, uh, you know, that speaks for themselves, you know, mm -hmm. state champion. Uh, we've been playing Lompoc for so many years, and right. they've been winning CIF championships, so it's a good test when you look at old Channel League teams versus new Channel League teams, and, and you go, we, you know, we know what we're going to get with San Inez and some of those schools, um, but Santa Barbara, DP, and San Marcos, you know, our guys just have to prepare for a more physical game. Uh, they're going to see schools that are bigger. You know, they're, what, a thousand kids more than what we mm -hmm. draw. So uh, those are going to be some unique challenges, but I think it all starts in our weight room. And I mm -hmm. think we did that last year. We've done it again this year of building that base of, hey, can you handle 10 games or 14 games? And so oh. that's what we've done. All right, my last question. You mentioned Bishop Diego, defending state champions. Yeah. What have you learned so far about the Cardinals? I mean, are they pressing the reset button or are they bring back a lot of experience? Well, I think when you go 16 game season, I think you're not really resetting. I know they lost a lot of guys. Mm -hmm. I know they lost a lot of talent, a lot of, uh, they had a great senior group it looked mm -hmm. like. Um, but they got key guys that, you know, uh, were on the field. And, you know, they had some blowouts last year, I know on their schedule and, 
And so when you have blowouts, you got your young guys on the field. So mm -hmm. I know they're going to be prepared. Their young guys also had six extra mm -hmm. playoff games, which is six weeks of practice. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those guys have a leg up in that regard. But, uh, you know, we're excited. We want to play good teams. We want to play the best because we want to be the best. And so mm -hmm. that measuring stick for us is playing good competition. All right. Lots of experience coming back to this Cabrillo team. We'll definitely keep a close eye on the Conquistadors. AJ Pateras here. This is Lorenzo J. Reina with Lee Central Coast News.